There is another family in mourning tonight here in the metro after a fatal crash claims the life of a woman. In Omaha police say 30-year-old Osvaldo Evangelista was speeding when he hit 26-year-old Deborah Gustafson near 132nd and Center. They both died at the scene. Well, tonight, Gustafson's best friend tells KETV Newswatch 7's Alexandra Stone she was less than half a mile from work when she was hit. Alexandra. Julie Robb, one of Gustafson's best friends, says she worked as a CNA. She tells us she was likely headed home after her shift when a driver crashed into her. It was very special to have her in my life. Megan Kakovsky and Debbie Gustafson met while working together at a care facility. Kakovsky had recently moved back to Nebraska and says the pair ended up on the same shift often. She came to count Debbie as one of her closest friends. She was like my first friend I met um, during a very trying period of my life. And she just showed me kind of what a good person looked like and what I wanted to be more like. Kukowski says Debbie was shy, but had a quiet kindness, which she extended to not only the residents she cared for as a CNA, but to family, friends, her girlfriend, and all those in her life. She was just absolutely amazing, such a beautiful person. Tragically, on a Sunday night in late June, the young woman whose kindness impacted so many was killed in a wreck at 132nd and Center. Police say another driver was speeding and crashed into Debbie's car. I mean, my heart just sank. More than anything, Kukowski says she feels angry. It feels um, preventable and unnecessary. Now, Kukowski says she started a GoFundMe to help family and loved ones cover Debbie's funeral expenses. She wants to honor her friend in the way she deserves and remember the woman she feels so lucky to have known. But I do feel bad for the ones that didn't get the chance to get to know her because they, their life would have been changed. Absolutely. As we mentioned, the driver of the other vehicle also died in the crash. We will put a link to that GoFundMe in this article at KETV.com. Reporting live tonight, Alexandra Stone, KETV Newswatch 7.